Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to another Division video. Today I've got a build video for you guys. I'm going to show you this quickly. Ah, here it is. So we got four piece alpha. I got the Larray Barrett. Oh, Barrett's bulletproof vest. And I got the specialized backpack. Alright, so here's my stats here. 323 primary DPS. My toughness is 441 and my skill power is 105. Firearms 5071, stamina 6886, and electronics 2726. So, as for my talents and the guns I'm using, so I'm using the lightweight M4 as my primary, and my secondary, I've got the FAMAS. Um, I can mix it up. Um, the lightweight M4 is probably my favorite um, assault rifle. Just the handles, handles heaps better than the Lavoa and the Police M4, in my my opinion. So here we go. So you got 23% enemy armor damage with 18.5k base damage. And um, my talents aren't the best with this this gun at the moment. Still trying to find a better one. Of all six talents unlocked, I've got five at the moment, so it's not too bad. But so I've got focus, which is not doing anything because I need a shit ton of electronics, which I'm definitely not going to be able to achieve. So anyway, I got focused. Then I got unforgiving, fierce, destructive, vicious, and uncomplicated. Um, so if I want to get better talents, I could use my police M4, which has 18.6k base damage, but 19% enemy armor damage. And there's the talents that I'm trying to look for, but for my lightweight M4. All right, so I got unforgiving, prepared, brutal, destructive, vicious, and uncomplicated. Um, the only thing that could make this better is probably prepared. I could have deadly, and then have um, unforgiving, deadly, brutal, destructive, vicious, and complicated. Or instead of brutal, have like responsive or maybe competent. Um, but yeah, that's the two guns that I kind of mix up between the police M4 and the lightweight M4. But I normally just stay with the lightweight M4 just because it just handles heaps better than the police M4. Alright, so yeah, that's that. And then as for my mods. Oh, and another thing with my mods, if you have the police M4, you're going to have to have a stability mod because it's a bit harder to handle. But with um, the lightweight M4, you don't need a stability mod. Um, stability handle because it handles already pretty good. So then for your uncomplicated. Just their damage is increased by 15%. Accuracy and stability mods reduce this bonus. So if you have the lightweight M4, you don't need any stability mods. Um, yeah, stability mods for it. Um, so then you get the full 15% damage bonus. But if I was to use the Lavoa or the Police M4, I would probably have to have a stability mod just because it's heaps harder to handle, which would reduce that 15% um, down a little bit. So that's just another factor that I like about the lightweight M4. That's better than the other other two. All right. Anyway, it's in for my mods. So for my muzzle, I've gone for 19% critical hit damage, 6% um, headshot damage, and then it's 2% accuracy. Just just a little bit of accuracy just to help it with a bit of recoil and stuff like that. Um, and then for my under barrel, I got again 19% critical hit damage. And then 4% optimal range. I think optimal range is pretty good for an assault rifle to have because you're gonna you want to try to do your damage sort of from a little bit of a distance. Um, so yeah, optimal range is pretty good for that. And then 2.5% um, stability. It's also pretty good. Then my magazine. I got 109% magazine size, which puts me at 62 mag size. Then I got. 4% critical hit damage and then 4.7 rate of fire. That's a pretty good mag. And then for my hollow sight, what do we have? We got 7.5% critical hit chance, 2.5% stability, and again 4% critical hit damage. I try to stack as much kind of critical hit damage that I, as I can. And then I just got the 7.5 critical hit chance. I could go another critical hit damage one or headshot damage if I really wanted to, but because I'm not using Savage Gloves, the critical hit damage, I mean the um, yeah, critical hit chance, sorry, um, works pretty good there. 
Right, so this Bar Barrett's bulletproof vest, this is what everyone's kind of looking for, and for good reason, I guess. Um, if you want to get it, everyone kind of knows Lexington Event Center, just farm the shit out of that. Um, I got heaps lucky with mine, it only took me three goes to get it. So I was cheering about that. It's pretty good, the only thing, increased kill XP, I could um, have ammo capacity. Definitely prefer ammo capacity instead of increased um, kill XP, but whatever. Anyway, so no skills on cooldown increases your skill bar by 10%. So that's a fair bit. So, so if you go into a fight and you pop a heal or pop a, um, a pulse or whatever, it's going to be stronger if they're both there. Um, one skill on cooldown increases damage by 5%. That's awesome because whenever you go into a fight for someone, you know, you boom, pop your pulse, fight for a bit till your health goes down, boom, pop a heal. And then when you do pop that heal and when your pulse is on cooldown, so you have two of them on cooldown, it increases your armor by 10%. So that is just ridiculous. Like that's, that's such a good talent to have. Um, I recommend anyone, if they have the Barrett's bulletproof vest, to definitely put it into a build. Because, um, yeah, it's, it's amazing. It's awesome. Um, and I've got protection from elites, armor, of course, as well, armor. And then, like I said before, I'd rather, I'd rather have um, not increased kill XP and the ammo capacity definitely be much better. And then my two mods, it's got a stamina mod and a firearms mod. Um, st um, armor and then firearms is armor as well. So yeah, there's that. So yeah, definitely try to look for one of these. Definitely worth having. All right, moving to my mask. This is my Alpha Bridge mask. 967 armor, that's pretty good. I think that's pretty high. And then I've got um, 3.5 critical hit chance. So that's pretty good. I think the max is four. You can get four critical hit chance. So but still 3.5, that's still good enough for me. And um, enemy armor damage, enemy armor damage in 1.5 is awesome now because it actually does something to players for PVP and also for PVE. So either way, enemy armor damage on your mask is like a must have, that's, that's, that's awesome. And um, I think 9%, I think that's the highest as well that you can get. <coughs> and then again, I got a stamina, stamina mod with just armor, just the same old. And of course, everyone knows that Alpha Bridge does. So if you have two set bonus, gives you 100% health regen. Three gives you 5% weapon, weapon damage. And then four, if you have a primary and secondary weapon of the same category, they both gain all the unique active talents. So everyone knows that. So for my Alpha Bridge knee pads, once again, I've got armor and then I've got shock resistance and 12% enemy armor damage. Definitely try and get enemy armor damage on your knee pads as well. That's also a must, I'd have to say. And I'm pretty sure 12, I think that's max. I don't think it's much higher than 12. Pretty sure it's the highest. Um, and then just armor. And then the other two, I wasn't really too fast with the shock and burn. That's just a nice little handy thing to have. And then um, what do I got? So I got another stamina mod with um, armor, of course. And then my performance mod is 6% first aid self heal. So there's that. I'm a holster. Pretty good holster. Just um, what's that? 1224, 1259, 1166. So that's not too bad. Electronics could be a bit higher. If the electronics was in the 12, that'd be almost god roll. Um, and then just armor for your for your holster. And then again, I just got a performance mod slide as first aid self heal. My gloves, uh, Alpha Bridge gloves. You can run, if you want to, you can run Savage gloves. So these are my Savage gloves here. Assault rifle damage, critical hit chance and critical hit damage. That's what you want to look for if you're trying to find Savage gloves. 16 and six, that's the max that you can get. Assault rifle damage, I'm pretty sure that can go a little bit higher. But yeah, that's like God roll there. That's, it. that's what you want to be looking for for Savage gloves. So if you want to run Savage Gloves with this build, you run Savage Gloves and then you chuck on an Alpha Bridge backpack. So then boom, there you go, you can run that if you want. So you have the Barrett's Bulletproof Vest, Savage Gloves with four Alpha. But for now, uh, where is it specialized? I'll get, I'll get into that in a second. So yeah, for now I'm just using this, yeah, four Alpha with the specialized backpack. Um, yeah, right, so here we go. So we got assault rifle damage because I'm using the Lightweight M4. 
1260 firearms I'm pretty sure that's close to max I'm pretty sure that's up there 5% critical hit chance I could get to 6 but 5 still plenty and then 16% critical hit damage that's max for that so yeah that's that that's my gloves now my specialized backpack the reason why I'm using specialized backpack is because it adds 200% of firearms and stamina to skill power so that's awesome for me so I can run a booster shot um, yeah that's the only reason why, so I can run a booster shot. So there you go, so then um, it's got armor and burn resistance. Obviously instead of burn resistance, I'd way prefer to have ammo capacity. Because now like my magazine, it only, only holds like 800 bullets, which is alright. But I'd rather, definitely rather have um, magazine magazine size. No, that's not right, not magazine size. Ammo capacity, that's the one I was looking for. Yeah, I'd rather have ammo capacity for my backpack. And then for my mods, I've got a stamina mod. I just got armor, of course. Performance mod slot, 5.5% first aid self heal, and then 5% first aid self heal. All right, so there you go. There's my build rundown. Just check these quickly. Let's see what have we got. So critical hit chance 31, so that's good, nice and high. Critical hit damage 87. That could probably be a bit higher, but with assault rifles, I don't know. If, I think that's not too bad. Headshot damage 81, it's pretty close up there with the critical hit damage, so I'm happy with that. Got 2% accuracy, 5% stability, just like this, this helps just a little bit with the assault rifle, just to, you know, for stability wise. Range, I've got 29 meters, got a bit of reload speed, time, 2.9 seconds. My all weapon bandage, bandage, said that wrong. All weapon damage bonus, 19%, and then my assault rifle damage, 1,275. Alright, so now we go down to enemy armor damage, there you go, so that's 60, oh, 59%, 60%, whatever, so that's pretty high, I don't know what the max is for that, um, I'm assuming it probably wouldn't get too much higher than 59%, um, I think I can actually get it, no, yeah, that's as high as I can get it, I think, so yeah, 59% enemy armor damage, but that's pretty good, and pretty, that's pretty high, um, 53.21% enemy armor, uh, fucking armor, sorry about that, 53.21% armor, I don't know why I said, I said weapon damage because it said weapon damage down there and I was reading that, so stuff that up, don't worry about that, anyway, so there you go, 53.21, and then plus when I put my, my two heals, um, my pulse and my heal, the Barrett's chest piece will, um, put that up to about 63, 64, something like that. Um, as for skills, just run the pulse and, sorry, booster shot. So just my normal pulse and then the booster shot. Um, for talents now, um, a really good talent I'd advise everyone to use is this one here, on the move. Because if I use on the move plus this one here, critical save, so use a medkit during low health to increase damage resistance by 40% for 10 seconds. And then plus on the move, kill a hostile or moving to reduce incoming damage by 30% for 10 seconds. If you combine them two together, so if you kill a host hostile and then you use critical save when you're at low health and then pop a booster shot, I can get my toughness up to like 2.6 million which that is ridiculous. So when you're fighting someone, boom, you kill them, they get you almost down, boom, critical save, booster shot, 2.6 million toughness for 10 seconds. That is a lot, which I'll actually show you guys in a little bit how to do that, because that's something that you really want to have. Um, then I got strike back, reach low health to reduce active skill cooldowns by 20%. So whenever you have, whenever you're um, in low health, your active um, skill cooldowns are 20% so that's pretty cool good little handy thing to have and then um, combat medic use a medic in your allies to heal group members and proxies within 20 meters by 40% that's just like a team if you're running a four man team I think everyone should probably have combat medic in my opinion um, alrighty so now I'll go show you guys quickly that um, 2.6 million toughness um, I hope you enjoyed this build video and also quickly just before I go I just want to say um, everyone that hasn't gone and looked at it or gone and joined it um, the Division Elites Facebook page is on Facebook 
there's some great guys on that and there's a great group of, um, group of people on that so um, go check that out go join we have just over a thousand members now um, like I said yeah it's just a great community going at the moment so go join that go help the community grow um, as for the build video yeah thanks everyone for watching I hope this build helped you out in any way if so leave a comment on your thoughts um, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time thanks for watching Alright, so I'm here at the Supply Drop Pen Plata Medical Supplies. I'm just going to show you the quick um, 3.6, did I say? No, 2.6 million toughness. I'll just show you guys quickly how to do it. A bit better if he wasn't shooting me with just a pistol. Alright, there you go. It's actually higher than I thought. There's actually.